I'm an island boy. <laughs> Psych, just kidding, I'm a Cali boy, you know what I mean? Northern California, be exact, Bay Area, stand up. Today, we're talking about my favorite snake, the king snake. Think I just want to give you guys a little quick background. Uh, California king snakes for me are probably my favorite snake, definitely hands down. I know I might say that a lot, but definitely these guys are pretty much the snake that got me started. Like way back in the day when I was a kid, one of my best friends who happened to be my neighbor at the time, uh, he actually got a snake for the first time, and he told me, and you know, when you're, when you're like seven years old, you're running around outside, we we're collecting isopods before we know what they were, we we're just calling them roly polies, and then you know, collecting frogs, turtles, whatever we can get our hands on. You know, we were all about nature. So when he came to my house and told me he had a snake, oh man, I lost it. So I had to go see it and check it out. So sure enough, it was this beautiful black and white California king snake, and it was just amazing. And I, I got to hold it for the first time. It's my first time ever holding a snake, but it was just so crazy. It was so curious, and it really kind of like sparked that interest. And then a funny story is right, right as I was holding it, it was everything was calm. I was holding it for about 10, 15 minutes. And I remember out of nowhere, it just started just gnawing on my thumb. Just, I just went to town and thought my thumb was food, which California king snakes are need, are known to do. Cause they have a high high drive i'm talking about if they smell food or they're just they think anything's food they've been on a bike themselves they just they they go crazy when they think it's food so we you know of course my friend's parents he they started tripping out and <laughs> they're like weird like worried and trying to get the snake off me as fast as they could and they're apologizing and i'm just sitting there like shocked like because this whole time i thought snake bites would be like hard and i thought i was gonna you know have like this reaction it's gonna be so painful but it was more funny to me like it was i've never experienced something like that before in my life so i was sitting there just relax and wondering why they were tripping in there. They, of course, they put the snake back and then we couldn't play with it anymore. And we were just like, dang, all because of that. So that kind of kicked off my curiosity. And I was like, man, hold on, snakes are kind of cool. And ever since then, I've always, always, always had to have a California King snake. And unfortunately, I had to move to Vegas, you know, a few, few years ago. And I had to get rid of most of the snakes that I had in my collection. And one of them was a California King snake from my boy Dave. Shout outs to Dave. <laughs> Dave's the best. And um, I had to get rid of her, unfortunately. So, but she's in a, she found a good home, a good home, of course. So I hope she's doing good. But thank God, I was uh just on Facebook, just relaxing, chilling, and uh, some guy that actually get doobie roaches from from Halo locally here in Vegas. He was actually moving and getting rid of uh, his pair of California king snakes. And once I saw them and the price he was he was offering them up for, I was just like, oh, uh, let me go see these and check these out. And you know me, without I had to just I had to pull the trigger. I couldn't help myself because I have to have a California king snake in my collection. That's just one of my goals. That's like one of my life for snakes. And I just think it's just the one of the most badass snakes that you can pretty much get. I mean, there's a reason why they're called king snakes because they eat other kings, they eat other snakes, they eat rattlesnakes, they eat any kind of pit viper. They're not they're not worried about the venom. They're immune to the venom actually. So. These things are just pretty much badass in my opinion. And uh, old, I don't know if it's a fact or it's a myth, but I remember hearing that back in the day, cowboys used to ride around with uh, king snakes in their in a bag on the, on their saddle. So if they ever do come across a rattlesnake or anything like that, they could release the king snake and it, it would eat it. I don't know if that's true, but it's a pretty badass little story too, though. So yeah, without further ado, I'll show these guys off to you. It, they are a full adult pair. I'm not gonna breed them this year, I'm gonna wait till next year. Cause as you know, my hog noses are growing up still. I still need to wait for my black milk to grow up and then I gotta find a mate for him as well. But everyone is breeding, everyone's, you know, getting eggs and I've just, I got that itch too, guys. I'm like, I need, I need, I need, <laughs> I need to have some eggs, man. I gotta, I gotta just get that experience under my belt so I actually know what I'm doing. So when it's time for my hog noses to breed, I'll have some of that experience and I'll be a lot more confident. And then plus, who doesn't like California King Snakes? Who doesn't like who doesn't like baby snakes? Period. So I'm really excited to uh, you know watch these guys. They're in quarantine right now. Of course, they're not in my room. They're uh, in a different room, different part of the house. So once they get out of quarantine, uh, definitely I'm gonna be make sure they're good. And then I'm gonna be doing all the research I can. If you guys have any tips or any any guys anybody that uh, breeds California King Snakes and you know can give me some tips, just put them in the comments so I can check them out too. Because I mean I, think I got a pretty good idea of what I'm doing, but of course I'm gonna research everything before I just jump into anything. That's just what anybody should do: research, research, research. All right. So without further ado, let's go check out the snakes. All right. This is when we first picked them up. I got the enclosures as well, so I'm happy that uh, he was able to throw in the enclosures. I put my own UV light on just to supplement them, and already the female came out. She is a normal striped 
California King snake, and I'm in love with her already. She is beautiful. You can tell both these snakes, he really took good care of them. So shout out to that guy. Definitely appreciative of him. And then uh, you can see she was a real inquisitor from the beginning. Both these snakes are super friendly. She is almost pretty much full grown. I'm going to focus on just getting her all the way up to size this year, make sure she's healthy. And then uh, my plans are definitely to breed, so I'm happy I got her. As you can see, she's beautiful, real inquisitive. Man, and she's got a full stripe all the way down her uh, down her back as well. So I'm excited to see what she can produce. And I just uh, wanted to just, you know, jumpstart my breeding game because, uh, you know, it's the first thing, first time. So I want to make sure uh, everything goes well. Like I said, shout outs to Dave. He's a, uh, that's kind of like my mentor. <laughs> so we'll be uh, definitely hope to, hope excited. I'll be excited, excuse me, to get, get some eggs for the first time to show you guys how that's, how that's done. And I think this is going to be a good start for uh, the future too. And she is just beautiful, nice. She's definitely handleable. She tolerates it really well. And when we picked her up, she, uh, the guy had already fed both of them, so we weren't worried about feeding them at all. But I'm pretty sure they're king snakes. They love to eat, like I said, so I'm not worried about that. Came with the enclosure. I'm definitely going to be improving this, get some more enrichment in there, black out her sides. But overall, I'm really happy, though. I got them for a steal, man. Like I said, almost, I was happy. It was just exactly what I was looking for, too, because this one guy, I was going to get one from, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he was going to he was gonna charge me like 250 bucks ship just for a baby. And it was a pretty baby. She was a, a light phase um, light phase ghost, so definitely worth the money. But my whole goal was to get an adult snake because I have too many babies. So I want to get some bigger snakes so I can actually start producing and, you know, going down that, that journey with you guys. So I'm definitely happy with this. It came at the right time, just right place, right time. I already knew the guy. He's the one I get my dubious from, like I said, for my uh, bearded dragon. So when you hit me up, he's like, you know, I'm moving. I got these two, two pair, two pair of California Kings. I was like, bro, that's exactly what I was looking for. And as you can see, she's only got that one dash in the middle, but she's perfect. Well taken care of. I'm going to leave her in quarantine. That's her cork by crying. Uh, so yeah, she's doing good. Happy to bring her to the, to the family. Excited to see what the future brings with her. Beautiful, beautiful. Loving her. And then that brings me over to the male. One more look at her. Don't worry, I'll do a video. I'll do a video. <laughs> After the quarantine, I'll take her out and we'll, uh, we'll do some going deaf. This is a male's enclosure. As you can see, he's the same thing with, as a female. He's always, he's real inquisitive. I'm definitely going to upgrade his tank as well because it's a little small for him. So I'm going to get him a bigger tank. But this just what came free. So this is a temporary setup while I quarantine him, make sure everything's good. After that, I'll be using some of the stuff and, you know, we'll get him something bigger. But as you can tell, friendly, fresh out the gate. He's definitely going to be one of those things that I take out the majority of the time because he is just amazing. Perfect, perfect stripe. And he's an albino stripe uh, California king snake. So, yeah, he's uh, he's. Look at him. Awesome. Amazing. Sorry for turning the camera sideways. I got excited. So I'm going to just focus on the, I think I threw in a picture here. Yeah, there we go. He is just beautiful. Excited to put them together too, because any, all, any babies that they have are going to be 100% head albino. So excited for that. And hopefully she might prove out and be head albino as well, but that'll be the future. And I am going to throw in a video from a hognose sink. So here we go. Enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next time.
right, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for me here. Hope you guys learned a little bit. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, feel free to drop a comment. I'll get back to everybody who kind of comments. I try to at least. I <laughs> uh, appreciate everybody. Go ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. And as always, uh, we'll see you again next time I decide to post, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> I was going to do something. I forgot. Oh, yeah. I got to go to work. <laughs>